Welcome to Make Path Presents. My name is Ronnie Hayes, and today we got some more mail. I think this is map mail number 12. Uh, we got one package from Justin Coda. I am putting this ahead of the other one because I'm waiting for my daughter to record. I got two or three things. I got one thing. I'm sorry, Peter. It's coming. It was for Christmas, but I, I'm waiting for her because we filmed some of it, and it's just, yeah. So if you have mail that's going to be opened up, it probably got pushed to the next one. I know Peter's did, and uh, others. I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, let's dive right into this, and we got a note. Uh, he said, don't even bother reading, but basically in a nutshell, just thanking me for all the videos or content on this channel, and he said he decided to send me a couple doubles from his collection, which is pretty awesome. Uh, before we get into the comics, I do want to see what this is. Uh, got a little poster here, I guess. And we got, oh, that's pretty cool, the 100 variant. The Walking Dead Escape. That is pretty cool. Uh, I wonder where this came from. Do they have these hanging or selling at the conventions? Because I believe this is a cover you could only get if you were going to the Walking Dead Escape when they did the 100 issue for the variants. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to frame that, try to get that to not be so, you know, rolled up. Because <laughs> those are hard to get out. So I'm going to try to go ahead with a frame because I do like that a lot. I cut the tape on these comics and we're just gonna pull out one at a time check it out what is this oh that is awesome Ohio Comic Con Wizard World exclusive this is the number one it's a variant with I don't know who did the variant but I love this I actually saw someone posted uh, this actual comic on the Walking Dead action figure memorabilia Facebook page awesome group if you're a collector by the way uh, but they actually just posted this image. I think they made it on a t-shirt or something. Uh, but that is pretty cool. See that? And then oh, behind it, we have The Walking Dead number one. This is a Philadelphia Comic-Con Wizard World exclusive. Uh, I am not sure if I have any Wizard World exclusives, actually. I think I have one or two I'm not really sure but uh, this is actually really cool I do love this cover I actually made a little PNG to go with um, some of the comic cover videos I was doing you guys probably seen it but I'll pop it up on the screen now uh, so those are absolutely awesome two awesome um, co comic variants right there I got a piece of styrofoam oh this is a cool one Wow. The static electricity with the peanuts is crazy. <laughs> okay, so we have an issue 85. This is Infinity and Beyond Celebration cover. I love this. We got some walkers around a birthday cake. Uh, I don't know the backstory of this, but I can only imagine it has to do some kind of celebration for the comic, being it's a, the 85th issue. <laughs> I think that's absolutely awesome. Walkers around a birthday cake. Uh, that is really cool. I like that. Next up, I believe we only have one left. Oh, no, we got three left, it looks like. What is this? Oh, this is awesome. This is actually the one I knew he was sending. He asked if I had this, and I don't have any issue 85. I believe the original is uh, the standard first print would be all black with Rick, like, curled up in a ball, like, on his knees or something like that. Uh, so, this is that. Oh, yeah. You know what? This celebration one is issue 85, so I now I have two variants for issue 85. Uh, that is absolutely awesome. Now, if I can only get my hands on the first print, uh, 85, I'd have to double check, make sure there's no other variants, but uh, 85 would be complete. That is pretty epic. And second to last one here, we have, oh, no way. That is awesome. Listen, this is uh, the 10th anniversary edition, but what's super cool about this one is I already have the 10th anniversary edition with the colored front. This is a New York Comic Con 2013 exclusive. Um, what's really, really, really awesome though is the the Walking Dead comic is, is normally a colored cover and it's white, it's black and white on the inside the the pages. This one is color on the inside. The actual comic is a full color comic 
but the cover is black and white. So it's a complete opposite of the usual Walking Dead comic, and it's a reprint of issue number one. I have the um, the tenth anniversary of this issue. It's full color cover and color inside pages, but this is actually a black and white variant. This is awesome. I completely forgot they made a black and white variant of this 10th anniversary. This is super cool because now I have uh, 10th anniversary, the color, the black and white, and I got another one that's just all black with a, a logo here, and it's the Skybound Mystery Box exclusive. Uh, so for 10th anniversary set, I got to look and see if, um, if there's any more, but that's a cool little... Um, side collection to get the 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary ones. I'm really excited about this. This is a really cool comic. And I dropped it. <laughs> That's why he sends it in their protective sleeves. He knows I'm such a klutz. <laughs> Alright, so I believe the last comic in here. Let's reveal it. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Well, first off, right off the bat, let me tell you, I don't have any uh, CGC graded comics. I almost said CDC, but uh, CGC, CGC Universal Grade 9.4 Wizard World Austin Edition by Rob Gulori cover. I, I, you guys know I'm notorious for screwing up names. Uh, this is a 13, 2013 exclusive reprint of issue number one. Uh, this is cool. Yo, I have never seen this cover before i've seen a lot of pictures of pe that people post you know promoting the different uh comic-con exclusives and wizard world and all that let me try to get the focus on the comic but uh, i have never seen this cover before promoted uh, this is and i know there's got to be there's so many different ones out there there's got to be a lot i've never seen but this is officially one that uh it's completely new to me and i think that looks pretty damn cool I'm hoping the my screen on the com on the camera I must have bumped some kind of different mode because the focusing is acting up on me. So I'm really hoping that focus is clear. But check that out. I got Rick down there shooting some walkers. Uh, Rick up here holding a picture, a call back to the um what, the volume number 1 with the the photo album picture. That is awesome. Yeah, I tell you what, this was one epic mail haul. Uh, let me see if there's, make sure there's nothing else in the box. I don't believe so, but we have uh, this graded issue. This is my first graded one. Absolutely awesome, very generous. Uh, number one here, and then we got the 10th anniversary black and white. Uh, 85, the um, Wizard World exclusive, the two Comic-Con exclusives, I should say. Or variant covers, I should say because I don't know um, which ones are, go where as far as the exclusives go. Uh, here is an Ohio Wizard World exclusive, the Philadelphia one, and yep, and that is it. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Six awesome comics to add to the collection. I do have to admit, uh, you got you, the members of the Matt family that send in the comics, uh, your generosity has doubled the awesomeness in my comic book collection <laughs> and to prove it uh, I've gotten a lot of requests for this but I'm doing a complete comic collection uh, that's gonna show my entire Walking Dead comic I'm gonna start doing it once a year for those that are interested uh, it's a video that I plan on doing little editing just me you and taking 20 minutes and showing off even if it takes a half an hour I don't care it's gonna be a video I uh, got a lot of requests for so we're gonna go ahead and do it and not only am I gonna add the newest batch of comics from the mail video but I'm also gonna add the newest batch of variants for issue 150 and a couple other uh, comics that I picked up for a couple dollars a couple bucks along the way like some weeklies because I'm growing my weekly collection that's right I'm trying to get a full uh, second print collection of, of the Walking Dead weeklies I believe it goes from issue 1 to issue 53 so it's worth a shot anyway this is absolutely awesome uh, thank you very much Justin your generosity is uh, truly awesome and uh, I don't know what to say but thank you this is 
Awesome. <laughs> and while we're on the topic of variants, what are some of your favorite uh, uh, The Walking Dead comic variants? I'm dying to know so I can zero in on certain ones that I don't know about yet so I can look into them and find some others to add to the collection. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thoughts and opinions in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.